What is happening, people? Man, I am on the river today, or on the creek, if you want to call it a creek. And uh, you ain't gonna believe it. This creek water is 55 degrees. Yeah, I'll say it again, you ain't gonna believe it. 55 degrees surface temperature. Anyway, we're looking for some big crappie today. Many, many times in the fall, those crappie follow those shad up, the, up those creeks, up those creeks. If you have a good deep, deep creek on your particular lake, they'll get it in those creeks, follow those shad, and you can really waylay some crappie. And uh, I am just putting along because I have not been on this river since March, or maybe April, first of April. The river changes, lots of logs in here, lots of floating debris this morning. So I'm just putting down the river and until uh, I can see where the obstacles are that I need to get around. This river changes a lot. So always be careful when you're in a new place. We don't want to tear a lower unit up. I don't have three or four thousand dollars to spend, and neither do you. But anyway, I'm gonna flip the camera around here when I see something I'm looking for and I'll show you kind of how to read this water and uh, what to look for when you come to a creek. Boom! So let me tell you how to find these crappie on this river. So these crappie are gonna either suspend, they'll be suspended in the middle part of the river in the deeper section, or they're gonna get on stumps on the edge of the river, or there could be a tree standing up right in the middle of the river off five or six feet off the bottom in 16 feet of water that the crappie are gonna be on. One of those, one of those, one or those two places. So I'm gonna ride this river, and what I'm looking for is an abundance of shad. You find the shad, you find the crappie. There's a rule of thumb. And uh, as the, now the, now the rivers then came up to 58 degrees right now. And it may be because this section's in the sun. And these crappie in this river are just like they're on a the lake. When that sun gets up high, they're gonna find a shady side where there's taller trees. So where there's taller trees or bend and there's a, sh uh, there's a shadow created on the river, uh, they're gonna look for that. But we're gonna run along until we find an abundance of shad. And then we're gonna really hone down. We'll find the shad, find a section. There may be a half a mile of shad. There may be 200 yards of shad. We just don't know yet. And so once we find that, then we'll probably start crappy fishing. That's just what I do. And most of the time I'll start finding better crappy. Now, I know that I could go to one of these trees that's sitting over here in the 10 feet of water and we coming up on one now. And there's probably a lot of small crappy in that tree. Those bigger crappy are gonna be in those uh, standalone stumps and suspended out in the middle. Now, as we progress on into November, December, a lot of those crappie will come out and suspend in the middle of the river in about four or five feet of water because they're getting warm from the sun. They're kind of like a lizard laying out absorbing the sun. So that's kind of how I'm looking for these fish on the river. That's how you can look for it. It gives you a starting point looking for them on a, this is a big creek. Some people call it a river. They call it, uh, call, some people call it a big creek, call it a river, but it's just pushed up from the local lake here. So you see these humps out here in the river? That's just the river bottom. See these humps? See how these fish stack up behind these humps out here in the river? Now, I just seen, so here we go. This is kind of what we're looking for right here. This is kind of what we're looking for right here. That's probably crappy. Could be white perch. We won't know till we fish them. But that's kind of what we're looking for right there. And if I see another one of these humps, that's a good indication, a good place to start. Uh, right there, you see a lot of fish from 10 to about 14 feet. Boom. Now I am going to go on down the river searching. I have marked a few places uh, on the map that I'll come back to. 
So basically what I'm looking for is to start in a good where a good concentration of fish are. Let me show you this. Here's a hump right here. Now this is on side scan. Let me get real close. See that right there? That's fish sitting up on that hump right there on that trash that we just went over. Right there. So that's kind of why I'm running side scan and I am running uh, 2D sonar is so I can I'm running side scan so I can see any big trees that may be under the water that I just barely missed. But I can also see those fish sitting on those stumps. I'm running that out about 60 feet wide. And uh, I see some guys crappy fishing right here. So boom, I'll talk to them real quick. That is what we're looking for right there. All of that. Crapolese. Look on the side scan. see all the fish here fish around that stump just behind that stump right there uh, boom get started uh, so this water is really muddy I knew it would be muddy so the two colors I'm gonna start with is banana pepper and uh, grenada bug Oh, boom, it's just like that. We got a good one on here. Boom. An old Grenada bug. Hey, I tell you, they can't stand that Grenada bug in this chocolate water right here. Get the net on this fish. This is a good one right here. Come on over here. Kaboom! Kaboom! All right, there he is right here, boy. That's a good one, boy. Good gracious. Sweet. Oh, uh, Grenada bug, Grenada bug, and the BA stinger. Small, small bait. One six. Good crappy right there, y'all. Uh, I'm just spotting and stalking that crappy was suspended off the bottom about a foot and a half. And they seem to be reacting a little bit better to these smaller baits. So I'm gonna stick with this smaller bait. So we went over a lot of things today. What I look for when I come to the river, looking for crappy in the fall. It is a very easy method to find fish. They're concentrated. They're not in the big portion of the lake. They're down in that river. It's a little easier to find them. That's why I enjoy it. fishing this time of year. And they're feeding up for the winter too. Uh, so they bite. Very good. Uh, anyway, guys, 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It is free. I need to get my subscribers up. Uh, so y'all help me out with that. Share this channel with someone that you know who enjoys fishing and hunting and outdoors. Click the like button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And you remember, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Guys, you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water.